Welcome back to the Activist Training Lab video course. Today in our recruitment and leadership development series, we're going to talk about one-on-one -on -one meetings. I want to start by reviewing the four factors of retention. As you might remember from our last video, four things that encourage people to stay in movements over time are having relationships, believing that the mission is important, feeling that their role or contribution is important, and liking the movement's culture. What's so critical about one-on-one -on -one meetings is that they help with all of these four factors of retention at once, which makes them an incredibly powerful tool to retain people. Every single grassroots movement that I know of has used one-on-ones to build and grow their movement, and historically, one-on-one -on -one meetings are one of the most important tools in an organizer's toolbox. A one-on-one -on -one meeting is just what it sounds like, an individual meeting between two people. They can happen in person, face-to-face, -face, at coffee shops, in a home, on a walk, on the phone, over Zoom, or anywhere else you can think of. And they're important for a few reasons. They allow us as organizers to build deeper relationships with members of our movement, to share key information or stories with people, to get important input and feedback, and to develop leadership. In the next part of this video, I'm going to explain some different types of one-on-ones and the typical agenda for a one-on-one. -on -one. And to do that, I'm going to draw from this book called Organizing People, Power, and Change by Professor Marshall Gans from Harvard, as well as the work of others. And this is a free online handbook that anyone can read, and I've included the link in the caption in case any of you watching this video want to check it out. Organizing people, power, and change explains that there are three types of one-on-ones. The first is the recruitment one-on-one. -on -one. This takes place when you're meeting with a new organizer or volunteer for the first time and you're looking to develop a relationship with them, connect on shared values, and hopefully engage them in taking further action with the movement. The second type of one-on-one -on -one is a maintenance one-on-one. -on -one. These are regular check-ins that you schedule with all the members of your team, and you use them to catch up with people, share information, and get feedback. And the third type of one-on-one -on -one is called an escalation one-on-one. -on -one. You have these with people who are ready to take on new leadership or more responsibility. You make a leadership pitch, and hopefully they accept their new role, and then you set shared expectations and next steps. Organizing people, power, and change breaks a one-on-one -on -one down into a four-part agenda. The first step is purpose, being upfront about the purpose of the meeting when you set it and reminding the other person of the purpose at the start of the meeting. The second step is exploration, which is all about asking questions. If you're meeting someone for the first time, you want to get to know them, their values, and their motivations. If you already know them, you want to ask questions about what's going on in their life and how their organizing is going. The third step is exchange. This step involves sharing information, whether that's you sharing updates about your own story or about the campaign, or them sharing feedback with you or asking for support or coaching. And the fourth and final step is commitment, a commitment to start working together or continue working together, assuming everything goes well. In the next part of this video, let's walk through a sample recruitment one-on-one -on -one so you can see how it might go. So let's say I'm running a campaign in my city, Starland, to pass a bill protecting pollinator species through city council. Yesterday, I had a meeting at the local library for anyone who was interested in learning more and potentially getting involved in the pollinator campaign. And one of the people who showed up was a person named Maria, and she signed an interest sheet and gave her email and phone number at the end of the meeting. So now for the first step of the one-on-one, -on -one, purpose. I'm going to text Maria and say something like, hey Maria, this is Sarah from the Pollinator Protectors Campaign. So nice to meet you at the library last night. Do you have time to meet for coffee this week so we can chat more about the campaign and how you might be able to get involved? And assuming Maria says, sure, I'm free on Wednesday after work. Would you be able to meet at Starland Coffee around 6 p.m.? I would say something like, that sounds great. I'm looking forward to meeting with you. So once we've set up the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm gonna show up at the right time in the right place. And when Maria arrives, I'm going to kick off the one-on-one -on -one by reiterating the purpose. So maybe I'll say something like, thanks for meeting me. I'm so excited to talk to you about the Pollinator Protectors campaign. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is exploration. So I'm going to ask Maria some questions like, is she from Starland? And if not, where is she originally from? 
What is she up to? Does she work? Is she a student? How did she hear about the library meeting last night? What did she think of the meeting? What makes her interested in pollinators? Has she ever done any organizing before? And even though I'm mostly focused on asking Maria questions, I might also share a little bit about myself and of course answer any questions that she asks me in return. The next step in the one-on-one -on -one is exchange. Now that we know each other a little bit, I'm gonna take a few minutes to tell Maria the Pollinator Protectors campaign story, as well as my own personal story about why I'm involved. I want her to understand our campaign's vision, the goals, the strategy, and who I am and why I'm there. And then finally, we'll end the meeting with commitment. And in this phase, I'm going to suggest some ways that Maria might want to get involved or take further action. So maybe there's an opportunity to testify in a city council meeting next week, and I'm going to invite Maria to come to a training and then testify for city council in support of the bill. And that's it. Now Maria and I know each other better. Maria is oriented to the campaign and she's ready to take her next steps. A maintenance one-on-one -on -one or an escalation one-on-one -on -one would look a little different from this because you're more focused on checking in with the person and developing leadership and not on getting to know them, but the overall structure is the same. And in our next video, we're going to dive into escalation one-on-ones and how to make a leadership pitch. So if you're interested in learning about that, I'd encourage you to keep watching. And until then, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or visit our website for more activist training lab content. Thank <music> you.